And we have another another new a new actor, but an old character as Mark. Mark? No, he doesn't play Mark Collier. As Mike Kaznoff. <laughs> we have John Prescott. And I'm actually, um, I play 33 on TV, but I'm really 17. Yeah, seriously. So you do the, the, the reverse. Yeah. Um, so you, you actually are one of our cast members who have moved across the country to be on our show. Exactly. I, uh, I'm, I'm from Los Angeles, and I've been on the show for three months. When I found out that I had the job, I had five days. And this, I mean, I think this is normal for, for this genre of, of television work, but I had five days from when I finally got the job to when I had to be here. And I know, I think Billy Miller had like two days or something, but it's quick and it's nerve-wracking and it's coming to a new place, but, yeah, and, and in the first week and a half I was, I was nervous and trying to figure out, you know, oh my gosh, this guy's been played by two other people before, who are my relationships with all these actors out here, and, and you know, you really can do as much as you can, but, um, what made it home is these wonderful people here that you see. And the cast and crew as a whole, JC Studios is just a wonderful building to work in and it's been a great place for me to, to learn. So you've been adjusting to uh, New York pretty well, do you think? I think so. Does it take seven years to be a, a true New Yorker? So uh, well, do you feel like you have, you have to live in the city for seven years and then you're a New Yorker? Do you feel do you feel like the people in New York that get have to uh, uh, deserve the bad rap that they get from the rest of the country? What, what's that bad rap? Yeah, you know, like mean. What mean? Mean? Um, have no. you been here since? No, Jake. <laughs> you were born here. <laughs> um, so, but, but you've enjoyed New York. Point of story. I enjoy, I enjoy New York, and, and, and uh, I went to college in Boston, so the East Coast is a totally foreign to me. Uh, go Boston, go Red, go Red Sox! Yeah. Woo! Uh, that's controversial for working in New York, and there's not a New York person. Right? But, uh, what? Red Sox! No! Red Sox! But and New York's been great, and, and I love it. And you know, being in New York, you walk out your door, and you're in front of you know a whole you know you walk two blocks, and everything is there. Yeah, so it's a great city. Happy to be here. It's fun. I like it. Speaking of New York, we have a lady who went to NYU, right? And I, Justine, I, earlier today I was saying Justine's name, and she was like, "You totally don't know how to say my last name." Uh, so Justine, will you please say your last name for me? It's Katsonas. Katsonas. Justine Katsonas, and you? It's okay because my uncle grew up with it and still doesn't say it right He doesn't say it right? No. I have a best friend who doesn't know their own birthday, so... Maybe your uncle and my friend could be friends. Anyways. Yeah. So, uh, Justine, so you play Sophie Duran. I do. And um, you have a musical theater background, right? I do. So you're a good singer. Yes. Yes. If you went to, if you went to school for musical theater, it's okay. Are you going to sing the karaoke tonight? Yes! Yeah. 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 What's more important is my, my boyfriend will probably sing the karaoke tonight. Oh yeah? yeah? That is not to be missed. That is not to be missed. <laughs> so so you, you pretty much graduated school and got on the show, right? I, yeah, I graduated uh, a semester early and then within six months I uh, booked the show. I actually booked it uh, the day after my birthday, which was, it was really, I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to be a downer, but it was also the day of my grandmother's funeral, so it was a really kind of ridiculous week for me, but, um, you know what, it all worked out so well, and, and I, I did it for her, and, yeah. um, I've been really happy since. So. Good. Good, that's good. <laughs> And I, I have a question you might know the answer to. I, I I was watching the show one day and I was like, where did Will and Gwen go? Oh, oh. You you have the answer to this because you were in that story. Where did they go? You know what? I think we're like a town away. <laughs> really? They're far, far away in the next town. Uh, going to the next community college and with my, With your daughter. With my baby Hallie. Yeah. Who is the sweetest, most beautiful little girl. Oh my gosh. 
perfect little angel. And actually, the first time that that Sophie saw her baby was the first time that I saw the baby Molly, who played Hallie. And uh, you know, the tears that were rolling down my face were real tears because she was just oh. incredible. Oh. So that was a really memorable day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually, Jen, it was funny because they they hadn't brought the baby in yet, and. And Jen was like, wait it, wait till you see. This doll is so like like she was trying to trick me so I don't be surprised. Because <laughs> Jen's like that. Yeah, you, you, you've got a contact with Jen, right? Jen Landon, right? Yeah. Yeah, how's she doing? She's doing okay. Her hair is red now. Yeah, she has red hair. She has uh, red Jen hair. Jen Landon has red hair. And, uh, you know, she's she's looking good, she's doing well, and she's at home right she's visiting her family right now. Very so, nice. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, moving on, we got another another theater lady here, Marnie Schulenberg, <laughs> Allison Stewart. Uh, now, Allison probably has the weirdest uh, like birth on this show. You're, it's like it's like a Chinatown thing. Like, is that the movie with like, my mother, my sister, my mother, my sister, my mother, my sister? <laughs> so your sister is your mother, right? Um, Allison, not Marnie's. Allison. No, actually, my uh, my it's my sister. Gave birth, uh, Mer uh, Susan gave birth to me with my sister's A. Okay. So, okay. They, you know. And this was all in 2003, and now she's 20 years old. They gave birth to Annalise A. Stuart with uh, uh, Annalise A. So they're both sort of my moms. <laughs> <laughs> Allison has two mommies, ladies and gents. Yeah. Um, so, so you came on the story, and, and you, you, you. you your, your first, we were talking about this earlier this afternoon. Your first week, you just had to be naked the whole time, basically, right? And you were like, what am I getting into? My first week, I got the script, and I knew I didn't have any lines, so I didn't really read it. And I just showed up, and they showed me what I was wearing on my first day, and, and I almost cried. And I realized I really want this job, so I'm going to suck it up, and I'm going to do it, and hopefully it's going to go really great places, and luckily it did. And it's it did. It's wonderful places, so. And I'm very blessed to be a part of it, and it's okay that I have a porn video now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with it. It's something to say, you know. Yeah. Maybe people can say that and yeah. still feel proud. Yeah, and you, and, and you know, you can actually say it and have it not be true, but you're not lying. Yeah. Yeah, I, can't, I don't fully commit to it, but it's still true. Yeah, and you you have just you you joined about a year ago, right? A little, yeah, a little over a year. A little over a year. And how do you feel like? What, what were the biggest challenges working on soap compared to theater and, and other mediums that you worked in? Uh, I forgot that I had a camera there the majority of the time. Because really? For, for theater, it's like there's, you always are open up to the stage, and you're always active on the stage. And a lot of times, even the camera people I got to know very well would be like, no, stop doing that. You know, face this way, face the face that. Oh, so you're like opening up to I'm the camera? I'm like open up and say my lines, <laughs> and, and walk and gesture bigly, and gesture big, and just, what are you doing? <laughs> And yeah. Focusing on my addiction and things. Do you do you watch yourself on the show to like see how you're doing and, and try to get you know? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, especially when I first started, just because for me, I have such a big theater and like Shakespeare and classical theater background and very little TV film. So for me, it really helped watching. Yeah. Learning from my so you're doing an awesome job. Well, thank you, Ben. I love you. I love you. Too.